we found many, many examples of the words natural, unnatural, nature uh, being used positively and negatively um, by academics, by parliamentarians, by columnists and, and, and leader writers, and also by folks that produce products um, or who did uh, research. Um, and there were many synonyms as well, uh, words like um, normal, pure, real, organic, unadulterated, unprocessed, artificial, fake, abnormal, synthetic. But there's no fixed meaning to these terms. Uh, the way that we use these terms changes over time. Um, back in the day, things like um, contraception or heart transplants were widely derided as unnatural, whereas now they seem to be part of, of nature, of what's accepted. Um, nor is it uh, easy to say, as you might simplistically assume, natural good, unnatural bad. Um, there are so many poisonous or dangerous plants, uh, animals, uh, viruses, um, and indeed loads of unnatural things like vaccines tend to be seen as good. So it's not quite clear which side uh, different ideas and values map out. We coalesced our ways of using these terms in five uh, broad categories, um, and I'd just like to highlight them. Um, the first one, perhaps, is, is an obvious one. Um, it's relating to uh, God or religion, that scientific research or um, maybe product design uh, distorts God's creation or uh, goes against the will of God. Um, the fact that perhaps nature is seen as an expression of God's will. A member of the public said, I don't think you can just discard an embryo that has been fertilized or change that in any way because I just don't believe that's the way God intends it to be. Um, we did some research, I did some research some years ago about pre-implantation genetic diagnosis and participants said babies should be um, a gift, not a commodity. And many of them didn't believe in God, but there was this sense of a giver of, of something that was outside your control. The second uh, category, and we saw it um, on the, on the uh, display, particularly in some of the red tops, was around um, uh, disgust and monstrosity. Uh, but it's not just limited to the red tops. Here's the Guardians, the product of a Frankenstein food laboratory. So it brings up the, idea, the science fiction ideas, the Mary Shelley ideas about um, uh, disgust and revolt, that we're doing something uh, we shouldn't. Perhaps a more sophisticated version of that is the natural purposes argument, which originally maybe was related to Aristotle and the idea of telos, the idea that things have a purpose and uh, animals, um, humans, plants have a, a purpose they're meant to fulfill. And if we go against that, um, if we uh, go against the essence of, of their nature, um, then we're doing something wrong. Um, the cows in the intensive environment was an example. A five-year-old knows cows belong in fields, uh, said the Guardian. Another idea was about um, the wisdom of nature, uh, that there was something um, correct or best about the way nature did things, sometimes personified as, as mother nature, um, that new technologies perhaps uh, were going against the wisdom of centuries or the wisdom of evolution and therefore were potentially having damaging consequences. Um, the feeling that we shouldn't interfere with what's evolved or what we see in our fields. Finally, uh, there's a concept that's free of all of these that says we shouldn't use these terms natural and unnatural. They're imprecise. For example, when we surveyed the scientific research, we found very rarely was natural and unnatural used in normative ways. Um, it's a, perhaps a more sophisticated idea, but maybe it's one that doesn't give credence to some of the underlying feelings which are being perhaps inexpertly expressed. When people use natural or unnatural, um, it may not be logical, it may not be coherent, but we felt that they were placeholders sometimes for some concerns folk had of the way things seemed to be changing or the unintended consequences that had been seen from some of the scientific research 
that they'd experienced over their lives. Thank you.